this time I've actually decided to do something a bit different. I've got a um, body of mine. I was, I might only just stream this bit for now, um, and the rest I after this I might just do off stream because um, Twitch is a bit funny with drinking. So um, <clears throat> thought I'd do a drinking stream for once. Because um, some of my friends asked for it, and I go down for it. couple ones always found a bit. Well, some people help one another. Others care only about themselves, I regret to tell you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> as a child to look after, what he's doing is unforgivable regardless of his motives. I'm so proud of Esma, it must have been really hard for her, but she didn't let her friend ship stand in the way of the truth. Yeah, you really ask a lot for her, eh? Like, yeah, he didn't really. Yeah, she kind of just went up and told her. So in that instance, I can't really blame here specifically for that one. <clears throat> but I feel like it's way too much on the truth. Like that's all that matters. So um, yeah. That's some bullshit. See how Twitch is in the first video. After that, I think I'll, I'll stop. I think Twitch might get a bit too hard on my ass or something. I don't want to get banned, really. I try to listen for some useful information. I need to do that. as it ever gets when it's streaming. Yeah, I just thought I'd stream the first part, see if anyone's interested. spot that I wanted to go to, the um, cafe was it? Yeah, I think it was like a cafe, the next spot. Um, see if we could get any food from there, because both of my guys are hungry and they're going to start starving soon, if they don't get something. He's exhausted. Maybe um, we'll leave him to sleep for a day straight. I wonder how hectic he's gonna get now that I just sold that guy out. He, he like fucking straight up threatened me because of this kid. This kid's so fucked. I have to get out of town or something. I don't Short waves. I don't even know what that means. Try the short waves. 
what Novak doing was inexcusable. We had to work. Like, did did we get anything from it? Did, I hate how it doesn't just pop up a thing that says, "Here's the transmissions you received in a while," so I, you don't actually know until you look at it. I haven't got any food or anything now. At least neither of them are starving. That's fucking cool. How is... Oh, yeah, it's gonna... Someone's gonna come today. It's gonna be cool. God damn, it's fucking face. I guess generally I start with meat, so the taste is so bad. Someone is going to visit us today, we should wait for them. So, you know, I kind of warm up the taste and stuff. And then do the shot. But, fuck it. Because, <clears throat> you know, generally when you're drunk, it's like you don't even care at that point. You're kind of done for. But, you know, after a couple of drinks. send him to the bed. I just wish someone would come as kind of a um, a playable character <laughs> just to help me out, but I don't think it's going to happen because it's, it's the um, DLC, the stories mode thing, so I'd be fucking amazed if there was. make a deal. Hello, stranger. What do you buy? Alright, so he doesn't even have a talk option. So literally anyone that's going to come by is going to do that alert me thing there. I actually kind of like that because then I have the option to... What happened to his inventory? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm just... I was just scrolling down, it just completely disappeared now. <laughs> Wait, my my only thing is a fucking... Well, hang on, I'll, I'll see if I can... Because I do need that food. No one's sick, yeah. Um, cigarettes would help uh, with um, the sadness a bit. But the problem is that both smoke, so realistically, she uh, he might just smoke it all while she's out doing mission. So it's still in of her, her risk in of itself, just getting a fucking cigarette. So I don't even have that good to trade. It's quite common, being honest. Quite common means I generally have to trade like two things. But let's see if I can. It won't do. Fine, we can have you. Just to fight your depression, that might be good. But if I need to use a lock pick, then I just completely fucked up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say let's fucking do it anyway, because it's just a lock. I don't know what you can. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just do that. I'll let him rest because he's fucking exhausted. So, I wouldn't work him at all tomorrow, too. I believe five, yep. Oh shit, Toy Store is free now. Alright. Um, I know it doesn't show in the, like, because it's my cams in the top right, but it, it says a place the location just at the top here. And then it has a description just here, which is probably a uh, cursor over my head. No, my head's going to pop that one. Um, so it says, before the war, because the toy store was a part of the last DLC. Before the war, the biggest toy store in the city was packed with tons of children. Oh, wait, no, I already said this, haven't I? 
now it's um, children games, models, candies, and a million other things. Now it's ruins and things. So, I'm like, yeah. so I didn't think that would open. Oh, no, the warehouse is open too, but that's dangerous. So I'm going there last. Um, I think I'll go to the pharmacy first, then the toy store, then the warehouse. Um, I think I'll open that. No. Yeah, that way I can at least see how long I'm recording for. I'm a, a little bother. I'll leave that up home. <laughs> I don't know. Very hungry as always. I wonder if the owners are still around. Probably. Well, probably someone's around. It may not be the owners, actually. This almost looks like it's attached to the other place. It looks like it's in the same kind of area as um the bakery, I think it was. There was a bakery in the pharmacy, wasn't there? Oh. Alright, okay, she climbs on top <coughs> on top of it. I thought she walked through the car and there would be been... Okay. Actually, I probably shouldn't have ran. Well, this chick's pretty fucking good at being silent, so I'll give it to her. Probably the most silent. There's a way just crash. Oh, probably the most silent fucking character. I've had the honors playing as in any of these games. anyone there? I guess. Um, she's clearly not trying to do this stealthily. Nothing worth taking. No one really crashes down to a lot of things to look at. I don't know if it's evidence or just random stuff. Looks like evidence is the eye hole with it. it. Seems the pharmacy is an undersupply, as undersupplied as the rest of the city. Ah. That means literally nothing here. Now that, just shut the fuck up. Stop bothering me with this. I can hear something downstairs. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. Doubtful. That all? I'll just say I like that sound like ours. Thank you for supporting our cause. Helping our brothers and sisters is our duty, along with the Republic of the Senna. Okay, so these may be our buddies, they may be the Republic. We may make allies that will probably not give us weapon, but I wish I would. Devil is supporting the rebels, that's something new. Okay, so yeah, one place you meet an ally and the other you put you meet kind of a traitor. I guess technically that's still a trade regardless of the reason. This is kind of set out the exact same actually. The stairways and the door here. Yeah, I think those two pharmacy and the bakeries. Pretty much the same place. I don't know what I get in. Yeah, it is. What is Let's check this room before I really say that they're the exact same spots, because I don't think they are, but they they take a lot of um of the same assets, clearly in structure. Listen to me, stop showing up to these rebels are in danger, I'm telling you. Let's let's hear them out first before I break through the door and talk to them. Or they kill me. <laughs> uh. I think this is where I'm going to get my story though. I don't think they're going to straight up kill me. Oh, they may, may even thank me, possibly, because I have helped the rebels, actually. Now you're bullshitting me just to make me stop. These guys take so long to fucking talk. has learned about the rebels hideout 
go hit it any day now. Interesting that he knows uh, me though. I mean, from the ready, you know. We just finished our discussion. We just need to finish our discussion. Please wait. Yeah, just let me search this shit. It's much worse than I expected. They barely have anything left. This looks bad. I don't remember those shells being. I don't know being so big. But yeah, this room looks kind of similar. It's not the exact same at all. I wasn't even a destroyed warlock to the left there before. But at least I can run around freely. I don't have to worry about anything. Hey. Wait, what? What is. What is he talking about? Oh, okay. Fuck, how can you be like that, brother? There are good people there who just want to walk away. And There's certainly a lot of people arguing. I guess there's more likely that they do that sort of stuff for this um, story, considering we have, like, a direct impact into the war this time, for once. Whereas all the other times, you are... Uh, the only thing I can do is fucking steal from it. That's not something I want to do, is it, now? I want to steal from these guys. I guess I'll just have to fucking listen in. I don't want to... This war, people die all the time. I don't want you to join them, so... Stay put until I return. Okay, now I can talk to them both. I wonder if talking to one or the other actually make. Just... Esme, you probably heard our argument. I wonder if I'll have a choice in this. Yeah, it's got the lighting on. Like, Floor and stuff like that. Yes, I do. I did. The military is about to attack a rebel hideout. Even though he waited for me to leave and close the door, he's like, "You probably heard about that, eh? Let's talk about it." Like, why bother even closing the door? Yes, your husband has to warn everyone over the radio. New story added. New story added is almost like the um, telltale thing of like the little eye icon coming up and then saying like. Uh, Geronimo will remember this assumption. Your brother disagrees. He said that this could put both of you in danger. Could. I mean, it will put you in danger. The question is, is the danger going to harm, like, result in harm? Is more of the thing. There's always danger in war. If it remains silent, many more will get hurt. True. He's got the same perspective as my character's husband. Malik? Yeah, Malik. My buddy Malik. Hopefully he'll do good. Alright, I'll talk to Malik then. He always do. I just wonder if you have a dilemma to... Yeah, I should probably develop the dilemma when I talk to the both of them. They'll probably be like, one for 
this question in the yellow for the heat. Or one for this side of the dilemma or choice, and one for the other. I don't have to talk to. But tell me different things to say and shit. Because he had something to say. Oh, here we go. You're this radio operator's wife, right? Can you help the man out? I'm fucking smoke out of my ass. Uh, what did you help with? You better keep your mouth shut if you know what's good. You don't say, I'm just concerned about my brother and I, I don't want him to go out there and potentially die, so please don't say over the radio or anything. You're like, just fucking keep your mouth shut, cunt, if you know what's good for you, if you don't want me to stab you. Like, I'm fucking sick of threatening me, like, you want me to do something? Try to convince me here, you know, have, have a debate, have something that morally conflicts me or something, you know. But then again, in the last episode, they did, and a pretty decent one, in the last two ones, because I cut them off, you know. The military finds out who snitched, they'll kill us. Oh, so it's supposed to go here before going to the other spot, is right. And then they'll come for you and your reckless husband. Yeah, well, buddy, you um, you haven't been listening to radio, have you? For some. Yeah, I already fucked that up. <laughs> already fucked that up. Yeah, we are pretty reckless. <laughs> Go to hell. I love you too, pal. Don't you like it when people love you? Nothing but useless trash, she says. a dilemma. I actually do get one. attack on the insurgents. We could warn them, but it might put the pharmacist and his brother in danger. What's worse, the soldiers could come to our doorstep if they find how we help the rebels. And somehow, somehow they just know who the fuck is on the radio. Then again, I want to specifically said who it was, but even that beforehand, they already know who we were because they dealt out that threat. Um. <clears throat> Alright, so what's the choices here? Oh, I'll ask Malik to warn the rebels about the planned attack on their hideout so they can move in time. We should do everything in our power to avoid even more bloodshed. I've already decided that I'm gonna feel like fucking military, so I'll probably go down that road. But. I won't tell Malik about the attack on the rebels, it's too risky. The military could get back at us if we spoil their plans. I'll just tell Malik about the lack of supplies at the pharmacy. <sighs> mm. If the LP goes south, they'll probably have to redo this. Mm. If I have to redo... Uh, yeah, but it'll probably revert a day before this. Well, if it gets really bad this quickly, then I'll just have to choose that. I mean, I don't think the game will lock me out of these sort of decisions. But I've already decided, I've already committed, already committed to, like, fuck the military. But generally in this situation, I would pick this one just... Um, I mean, that, yeah, it's two sides of a war, to be honest. So I wouldn't really favor it. 
one over the other, even if one's like a contrabass or military, which is what they portray them as the military. Pretty cliche villain types. Um, yep, yeah, I've already made my commitment. It's not as, certainly not as strong as the, um, uh, the last mission, considering, um, that was one that they kind of stole, to be fair, though, in, like, the philosophy, well, psychology question. Not as boring of a psychology question as the, um, last half full or half empty one. It's one to this day that's still relevant and intriguing to like think about and kind of just like what is the right one when i still i still think you know um the cry it's it's not so much a um mental dilemma for me that struggles with having known that i killed someone to save five people but more like the punishment for doing that in this day and age I mean, if you go by the concept that you would never be found out for it, then it's like, you're saving five people. But, it's one of those dilemmas. I don't really... Hmm, don't want to bash on people too hard for picking the other one. they both. Especially when it's one of those dilemmas that you have to so really fucking quickly just suddenly happen. It's just oh, it's always make it worse to those ones. When you start to think about it more and you start to question, did I do the right thing? In a situation like that, where it's it's not really like either one's a good decision, that both just like which one's the better of the two evils. That kind of situation is like. If you start thinking about that sort of question hard on like, did I do the right thing? It's like, you only get more fucked up for it. It's like, there is no right. Either one is wrong. So when you ask yourself that, the answer is only going to be like, you're wrong. You did the wrong thing. I heard the, heard the brothers at the pharmacy and I was like, you know, like there, there's no winning in those scenarios. It's just one that you have to pick the you assume it's better than the other, so. And now they're gonna be freezing to death while I got nothing at all to help them. I've just gotta get medical supplies, I guess. Somehow, I'm gonna have to trade for them. I've heard about an imminent, imminent attack on the Sepatus hideout. Why do you say Sepatus? Why not Rebels? I honestly don't know what Sepatus is, but. We have to warn them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, he has to report it. Malik is starving. Esme is starving. <laughs> oh, fuck. Esme went looking for supplies but couldn't find anything, period. God, this is fucked. By warning the rebels, we put our lives, and those are the two men in danger, all in hope of saving many more. This, I was literally just talking about this. Did we do the right thing? Oh man, she's gonna get hardcore fucking depression. He doesn't even question anything. More bad news. How much more will the people have to suffer? God. No, wait, he doesn't. Oh, wait, no, he does. And then they're gonna start becoming freezing because it's, it's minus one degrees here. Everything's starting to fucking... Snow and shit. Minus one and it's snowing. <laughs> and like, um, yeah, the, the lighting's straight up gone blue for like all the fucking rooms, even for this one, which has fucking a flaming can in the background that's just constantly flaming so for whatever fucking reason. This house, though, I would have done so much more crafting with it if this wasn't the game where that's just like no crafting materials ever. Yeah. Yeah, let's see how Twitch is.